you know, the thing that happened on Thursday, the injecting of the disinfectant and the UV light, this is a really important discussion to have because it really, not just because of the fucking dumb sentences, right? But it's because of after that is presented to the United States of America and then we go, okay, now what? This is the conversation that we need to be having amongst friends and family. The President of the United States of America, who's clearly not up to the gig, and isn't capable of being president of the United States, even though he is. And I think that we all can agree on that, that he's had a very tough time. The amount of stress that that guy is under to save his own skin with the economy in the tank and thousands of people dying and his lack of understanding, really, or having any sort of empathy for that other than, oh, my God, I'm not going to get reelected in November, and what does that mean? And then do I get indicted in New York in January? Like, all of the stuff that's going on for him, he is painting the rosy picture, and then the doctor coming up and saying, yeah, no, uh, yes, the coronavirus will be back in the fall. And then Trump saying, no, it won't. And asking, and the doctor and the science and the math guy directly rebuking him publicly in front of him with all of this terror and panic that's going on with this guy. And the mindless riffing and the fighting with the reporters because he thinks that's what his base likes watching and it's helping him and his own corroded uh, egomaniacal mind and just being in front and the combative and the device and uh, and if I'm in a fight, then I'm winning and the, I have to create some kind of rift with somebody because all I know how to do is divide and then pit people against each other. Like the whole Trump playbook on Thursday coming to a head where he's literally just riffing and word salading. And I do this often. But in front of the uh, the American people, in front of millions of viewers who've got nothing to watch but him and Last Dance and the draft, for him to start to riff about injecting yourself with disinfectant and that potentially being a cure because he saw a video on YouTube and he's trying to make sense of it as he's saying it. The doctor's over there and the doctor doesn't know what to do because she can't rebuke him because then he'll fire her and she needs to continue to toe the line so that she can help one more American not die or get sick with her message. And it's just, it's colossally... Perfectly chaotic. And the President of the United States talks about UV lights and getting into your skin and disinfectant and injecting it to kill the virus in your lung, and he leaves. And then there's a spike in calls all across the country with people calling medical, uh, is that okay? (laughs) Is that something I should be doing? And you start to understand and realize just how incredibly dangerous this guy is to the point where Lysol feels the need to put out statements saying that you should not inject its product into your body as a solution to the coronavirus. This isn't the onion. This isn't a 
a bad comedy. This is the president of the United States potentially offering that up as a solution. And then, and this is the part that's fascinating, as you you start to watch people make excuses for that behavior. People on his side, you he didn't mean it. It was out of context. Well, I read this article. He was on to some, like, it's all crazy talk. At what point as a, as a nation, whether you're Republican or Democrat or Libertarian or Green or into whatever, can't we all just agree on this? Injecting disinfectant into your body is bad and potentially lethal, regardless of your party affiliation. Can't we all agree on that? And the answer is not totally, because somebody somewhere in Magaville is making some kind of an excuse about how it was okay for him to say that. And that is disturbing. I think he came out the next day and said, oh, I was being sarcastic. Well, I got news for you, man. This currently is not something as the leader of the free world that you should be joking about. And the idea that we all can't agree on that well, it's disturbing. Period the end.